Welcome to Chematin the show. Business financial education, the number one show. Yeah, so um welcome from the break. So today, like I said earlier on, we are looking at basic steps needed to start your business in 2024. As I said earlier on, if you have followed the journey since we started this uh, show, it's been four weeks now, and our fourth week, we are now going to start the business. Now, we are starting in 2024 because entrepreneurship has to do with your mindset. You don't just stand up. You understand? So you need to follow the steps first. But before the steps, you need to have basic, basic skills as far as entrepreneurship is concerned. So let's check our board. What do we have? Skills every entrepreneur needs. So if you want to be a successful entrepreneur, these are basic skills that you have to get. Now, the first one is sales mastery. You need to master sales. I keep telling you that Warren Buffett, the uh, world's most successful investor, started with sales. My Cuban started with sales. Let's come to Ghana. When he returned from Nigeria, he started with was selling of CDs and cassettes. Now, our own Zoom Lion man, Dr. Siao E. Japan, started selling textbooks and then size books before he came out with the Zoom Lion thing. And now he's one of the richest. So please, you need to master sales. Sales is everything as far as entrepreneurship is concerned. Anything at all you want to sell, try and sell it and gain basic skills. Now, when I was also sharing my... Um, the things that I've also done, I was also telling you that as of year nine, I was selling. Yes, nine years I was selling. I was selling kerosene, we were doing choki and stuff. You understand? You need to have passion for entrepreneurship. So sales is number one. Effective communication, you need to know how to communicate. So what is communication? Communication is what? Provision of what? Or sending of information, messages from one person to the other. So you see, marketing is one key important as far as business is concerned. Mm -hmm. And marketing is what? Communicating with your world. Customers, it can be paid or unpaid. So we have advertising, which is paid form. We have sales promotion, which is unpaid, like uh, fires and the rest. So communication is key. We also have self-esteem. Yes, self-esteem, very, very important. You need to believe. I didn't believe I can do this. You understand? As I said earlier on, Way back in 2017, uh, some students from Hilltop designed my YouTube phone, but still I couldn't do it because I have not built the word self-esteem. Self-esteem is built, is developed. So if you want to be successful in the brand, you need to have that emotional intelligence. You should be able to control your uh, feelings before you can control that of your workers. Then you must also have what decision making skills and focus. So Steve Jobs says what focus and simplicity. A lot of people will say all kinds of things. You need to ignore everybody. Focus on whatever that you need to do. So these are basic skills that you need to do. And these ones, it is not taught in any classroom. You can get it in what? Shemantel's desk show. Or even your workplace. You can develop these things. So you need to have this. When you have this, then we move to the steps. The basic steps. Every entrepreneur will need before you start. Now, before you start your business, the first thing you need to do is to do what you study. You need to learn. If you want to be a successful entrepreneur, learn. You learn about you yourself. Understand yourself. Learn. Do you understand? Ask yourself, are you ready? Because you are going to take risks. Yes. Without risks taking, there is no entrepreneurship. So you ask yourself, am I ready for this risks? The money that I'm going to put, am I ready? You can give yourself about one month. Don't rush. You have the money. Fine. Don't just say, oh, I want to search. No. Entrepreneurship is not about money. Yes, money is part of the resources, but you got to be steady. Steady yourself, steady the people, wherever you are, steady. Now, from there, you move to research. Yes, research also has to do with study. What is research? So, so you research about the market. So market research, you find out about your potential customers. You also make sure that you find out the price they are ready to pay. You also make sure you find even your competitors. Find out more about them. So as you are doing the research, you can also try and identify some problems in your society. Wherever you are, entrepreneurship has to do with the mindset. It's there, there are about 32 million people in Ghana. We have a lot of problems. 
where the society or wherever the community you are, a lot of problems. Identify those problems. Now put those problems into ideas. Then it becomes business. So take your time. Entrepreneurship is journey. You want to be successful. Take your time. So after you've done your research, you have problem, you have ideas. Then the next thing is how can you solve the problem profitably? Yes, problem solving is key as far as entrepreneurship is concerned. So the problem that you've identified in your area, you are now going to solve it. So how are you going? You need to ask yourself. So when I realized that in my on my street there is no momo or whatever in that area, then I said, okay, so this is the problem. Then how can I solve it? Then you start getting some resources here and there. Come, you start. That's how entrepreneurship is. You don't rush. Just do the study. Do you understand? Get problems. Get ideas. How can you solve that profitably? Now, the next thing is that plan or set goals for your business. Planning is key. Planning is key. So you say, what well, business plan. So what is business? You need to put all your goals, your objectives, your finance, your marketing, the owners, everything in one document. Because at the end of the day, you're going to find People, you're going to convince people, whether banks or whatever, you're going to raise resources. So you need to convince, how are you going to convince, how are you going to raise money? You need to have what you call business plan. Put all your ideas, your objectives, your finance, the projection. One document, it's called business plan. So you plan as an entrepreneur, you need to plan. Now, if you're done with the business plan, then you need to have what you call survival mindset. Sell to break even. Not that initially you're not going to make profit. Yes, that's how it is. You are going to break even. Survival first three years. Don't think about profit. Think about break even. What is break even? Break even is where your costs and your sales are the same. So you are not making profit. You are not making loss. So let's take note of that. It's very important. So you sell to break even. Now the next thing is be aware that you might fail. Yes, 80% to 100% new businesses fail. Failure is part of entrepreneurship. So, not that you can fail. The business that you are setting up, yes, you can fail. But what do you do? You bounce back. So, check. Kentucky Fried Chicken, KFC. His delicious recipe was rejected a thousand times. Yes, and Mr. Sanders, before he was um, 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 accepted, it was in 1950, so he accepted way back. People didn't take him serious. You will fail. You come back again. You will fail. So that's how entrepreneurship is. So don't expect that oh, I'm going to. No, no, no. It's not like that. Now, the last thing I will do is you need to what? Sell. You need to sell with your love, passion, and just do it. Do the business with love, passion. Not with money motive. Love, passion, and just do it. Like the Nike slogan. Just do it. And do it with love. So these are the steps that you need before you can be successful in entrepreneurship. So this is what I have for We'll go for our second commercial break. When we come, then we'll look at some of the businesses that we can sell. So I'll be right back.